So I'm, I'm trying to make this video, which has become very challenging to uh, set up the camera. So I'm making the video for my students here at the University of Texas, Rio Grande Valley. Uh, this, this lesson is uh, for my painting one students. So the method I'm using here, we've already used in class. Uh, so I've covered the canvas with some raw umber. And so this is the imprimatura stage of the, of the painting. I don't know how long this video will last. This first video I try and make. Uh, so I'm gonna try and complete uh, this stage of the, of the still life. Uh, I mean, I've mentioned this many times uh, to my students. Uh, when we do this, this assignment, when we start a painting, uh, you know, I try and do this here to find the center of, of the composition. Uh, and to balance out the objects that I've gathered, uh, I have a uh, decided to do a still life of uh, oranges and pears in a, in a plate. I had asked the students to bring uh, different objects that were based on the geometric solids that we painted. Uh, but I've, I've been wanting to do a little still life of oranges and pears for, for a while, so uh, I decided just to stick to mostly objects that are spherical and, and I guess the, the plate, I mean the bowl is sort of like a, uh, sort of like a cylinder. And so what I'm, I'm doing now, I'm thinning down my, my raw umber with uh, a lot of paint thinner, making it runny so I can uh, quickly sketch this out. Uh, so this is finding the geometry of this little canvas here. And uh, so now I've got my center there. Uh, so I'm gonna start to sketch, you know, loosely sketch my composition. I'm indicating, you know, the the uh, the outline of the of these objects. Uh, I don't know how, how I feel about uh, yeah, the light went out. Gotta get up and walk around here. <clears throat> The light here in the in the painting studio is motion sensitive. If there's no movement, the lights go off. I think it's set for like every 15 or 20 minutes. So as I'm painting this, I will occasionally have to get up and uh, and move around so that the lights come back on. So I'm indicating the basic shapes here of the pears and, and oranges on the plate, on the bowl. Uh, I don't know how I feel about doing instructional videos. Uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of videos by artists that market themselves as, uh, you know, great painters, and then they have lessons how to paint portraits, how to paint still lights, how to paint the, you know, different subject matter. And I don't know how I feel about artists that do that. I, I don't, I, th 
think it kind of uh, cheapens the artwork that those artists do. I don't see great artists. I mean, I know great artists in the past had art had had studios where they taught they taught painting uh, to their apprentice. But I I don't, I don't know how I feel about contemporary painters, especially contemporary realist painters that that market themselves as uh, as how to how to instructors. Um, again, the reason I'm doing this is for my students because we're having to teach to teach online because of the of the epidemic that is going on. It makes for very interesting times that we live in. Uh, uh, most of my students, you guys know that I have a great admiration for artists from the Renaissance, from the Baroque period. And in the back of my mind, I'd always wanted to live in those times. And I, I remember joking around with friends. It's like, like I wanted to live at the time of the of the plague. In uh, during the Renaissance. Uh, and well, I guess I got my, I got my wish. So we have a sort of plague going on in the, all over the world. Uh, so here, just back to my painting. So I've loosely sketched it in. The objects have a pair, an orange, another orange, another pair. You know, I try and, and, and vary the position of the object so that it's more interesting. Um, so now I have a, the tone of the, of the romber is, uh, like a mid-tone and on this I can add start adding the the shadows just start adding shadows here the shadow shapes this is a great technique for starting paintings I use it for my small scale work What I, what I love about it is that it, it uh, very quickly your painting uh, starts to look very complete because you, it, it forces you to address all the uh, different areas of the canvas. See, everything is painted. Everything is painted quickly. So see now I'm indicating the shadow on on the pair. A little bit of a shadow here on the orange. And this pair that is it's very foreshortened. It ended up being very foreshortened, very close to the center. I don't know how I feel about this ending up in the center. Now that I'm looking at this, you know, I'm just. Uh, it might work. I'll continue. I'll stick with this composition, just because of the difficult time I had setting up the camera. I have no idea how hard it was to set up the camera on the phone. Uh, so here. And so th this technique, it is a, essentially a drawing technique. I mean, I mentioned this to my students. This is kind of like the same technique when you draw with charcoal or you cover the charcoal with charcoal, a whole sheet of paper. And then with your kneaded eraser, you start to draw into it. Same thing, basically the same thing, but instead of charcoal, you're using romber. 
And instead of an eraser, you're using a paint thinner with a brush or a rag. So here's a quick sketch. Now I'm gonna get a, a rag. I've got this rag here. And I'm gonna dip it in paint thinner and start to rub out the the lights. Rub out the, the lights on the on the composition here. The, the brightest value I have here is the uh, the white plate. That's the white plate. And so this is a it's a drawing technique essentially. You can hear the janitors out there on the on the hallways. Oh, they might walk into the into the into the studio here. Uh, see quite um, very quickly it starts to look like a little painting. Uh, I learned this technique when I was in graduate school. Uh, you can carry this technique to a very high degree of, of uh, finish. Uh, I'm anxious to start to put color into this little still life has a little bit of reflected light here on the on the underside of the plate uh, so yeah, i'm very anxious to start uh, adding color it's a it's a small canvas probably like nine by twelve um, Now, also, I don't know how long this video is gonna last because uh, I never made a video, an instructional video. I, it's my understanding that you can't really take take uh, make videos that are too long with the iPhone. So I will. I do it in sections. So th this is about 13 minutes at this point. Uh, so I'm gonna quickly move on to a larger brush and try and put some more more of those dark values on the on the composition. The my objects are set up in a shadow box that we that we made it's a very basic little shadow box made of out of an old cardboard box uh, but of course it it is very helpful in in, uh, in help